Connection.com. Today we're going to go over the 909. Um, it's a 10 inch dual beveled miter saw. Um, it's got some good power to it for an entry level saw. It's $200. So it's, it's pretty cheap to get in um, to get this on your workbench. Not bad at all. 15 it's amps. 15 amps. Um, it's got a lot of the same features that the big boys have. Um, this one does have a laser on the side. It's got all your major stops, you know, 0 degrees, 22 and a half, 31.6, and so on. It's got the clamp. The clamp does screw down. It's not a, a level or a lock and lever clamp. One thing not a huge fan of is the knobs. Knobs are a little chintzy. Just wish they would have put a little bit bigger knobs on there because there's a lot of different knobs on the system. As you can see on the base, base isn't too bad. You got a little bit of uh, uh, room to work on here. You can clamp it down, which is nice. And it's also got holes on the front and on the back so you can actually bolt it to your workbench. If you come over to this side over here, um, one thing I want to know too, you know what, it slides really nice. So I have to admit that, especially for an entry level, it's got a nice slide to it. Uh, it's got, you can see, you can do trench cuts. It's nice because you can pop the lever down, stops it whatever you want to and then you can go ahead and when you don't want it just flip it up and you're good to go portability you can lock that into place, lock the slide down and then it's got a handle up top and a handle on back so you can carry it around it's really not too heavy <coughs> I don't know the exact weight but it's a lot lighter than the Bosch we were you know, carrying around but they're two totally different saws um, 45 degrees to the left, 45 degrees to the right and I think that pretty much covers it. has got the dust collection system and I mean that's your major things on it. Again, it's an entry level system. Not bad for an entry level system. So don't forget to check us out on uh, YouTube account, our Facebook account, and Twitter account, and uh, that's it man. Okay. That's why you gotta go with the glide saw, dude. <laughs> why? Because you keep hitting the back? Yeah. Yeah, see that you can tell that it goes through. We can cut through there nice. Yeah, I mean it's 15 amps, dude. It cuts through pretty good. Uh, Toolsinaction.com. <laughs> when one tool just isn't enough. <laughs>